What's good, everybody? So, classic films like RoboCop, Legally Blonde, that we all grew up back in the day and loved these films, are now getting a reboot for a film or television. Now, I know some of y'all are wondering why they're doing this, how it is going to be done. What's the uh, catch to this? Well, it's simple. This is going to be done through Amazon. Now, let me give you the details first, and then I'm going to come back and give you my opinion about this. According to an article in Yahoo, it says, Barbershop, Fame, and other MGM titles I for a TV and film reboot at Amazon Studios. Reports that creators are reaching out to Amazon to try and wrangle adaptation deals for the projects they are already fans of. While Amazon Studios has been looking to its own collaborators to headline certain projects, certain titles like Legally Blonde, Stargate, and RoboCop are getting TV and film treatments, while other projects like Barbershop, Fame, and The Magnificent Seven are getting TV series. Others like The Thomas Crown Affair, a possible animated Pink Panther project, and Poltergeist will be all films. This comes after Amazon and Michael B. Jordan announced a Creed TV and film universe taking place at the streamer. Some of what could be coming down the road include an anime series, live action, TV series, and a project possibly centered around Adonis Creed's daughter, Amara, played by Mil Melia Davis Kent. It is also worth noting that Jordan is attached to the Thomas Crown Affair, as well as the latest updated on the project was when it received in 2021. So, what do we know here? We know that. Amazon is going to be doing these reboots for film and television. Now, I know some of y'all are wondering, why Amazon? Why not anybody else? Well, it's simple. A couple of years back, MGM, the studio, was on the uh, auction block to be sold. Amazon came in and they bought MGM. They bought the company. They bought the IPs, everything. They bought the company. So now MGM is under the Amazon uh, banner, which they are owned by Amazon. So with Amazon now owning all these IPs, these well-known IPs, they're saying, hey, since we own these IPs, let's take some of them or take certain ones and reboot them or remake them for film or television. Now, the only thing about this is that we've seen in the industry always and always and over and over again that when they take a project or a film that has a huge fan base and they try to reboot it or try to do a television series out of it, it's a 50-50 chance that it may or may not succeed. We've seen that several times. And now when you got titles such as Barbershop, Legally Blind, you know, like those projects, you know, for one, we already know Barbershop was done by Ice Cube and his production company, and then Legally Blonde was by Reese Witherspoon. So now my question is this, is that are they going to reach out to people like Reese Witherspoon and uh, Ice Cube to let them know like, hey, we're considering bringing these projects back for a film or television. Are you interested in it? Or are they just going to say, you know what, we're not going to reach out to them. We're just going to do what we want to do with it. That's the question being asked, you know, now, my opinion, I think it would be cool to reach out to them since they made these uh, projects well-known and famous to reach out to them and say, hey, this is what we're doing. Would you be interested in coming aboard? Now, that's just my opinion, but maybe or maybe not they will do it, you know. So we just have to see. But now what got me was they were saying that certain ones that's going to be television and film uh, projects like they already let it be known that the Thomas Crown Affair and the Pink Panther and Poker Dice those are going to be film projects and that Michael B. Jordan it was already going around that he was supposed to be attached to the Promise Pound I mean to the Thomas Crown Affair film now if y'all don't know about the Thomas Crown Affair you should check it out it's a good film because they uh it was the old movie that came out back in the day 
and then they did a remake of it with uh, Pierce Brosnan. Basically, the Thomas Crown Affair is about this guy who's a multi-millionaire billionaire and that he breaks into his own art gallery and steals the paintings. Now, some people say, why is he doing that? He just do it for fun, for sport. Pretty much his rich people who are bored. He's a rich guy. He's bored. He don't have nothing else to do. He's looking for something to do for his time. So he breaks into his own art gallery. Really good film. You should check it out. But with that being said, now, they were talking about RoboCop being, is getting a television and film treatment. The only thing about RoboCop was this. Now, I love RoboCop. I love that series. I'm a huge RoboCop fan. First RoboCop, hands down classic. Second one was good. After that, it kind of lost me. And then they try to do the remake of the RoboCop, and that was terrible. So now they're saying we're going to give another crack at it. But my only question is why? Because I, I just feel like that RoboCop is one of those films that it can withstand the test of time. Uh, everybody who was in that film, they brought, they played their part so well that that's what you know them as. And when you're trying to do a reboot of it, especially when you did the reboot and the reboot didn't work, I would think that we'd be like, okay, well, let's just kind of leave that alone. You know, but once again, they own it. So they're like, okay, let's, we're going to do it again. But now my question would be, how are they going to go about this? Who are they going to bring in to write it? Who's going to be a director? So we'll find that out soon. And then we're Legally Blonde. Like I said, that was all Reese Witherspoon. She made that film a hit. Now, are they going to reach back out to her, as I said, to want to be a part of it, or they're just going to go with somebody else? That's another project that people love, Legally Blind. So if you're going to do a remake of that, then you have to make sure you get the right people. First, most importantly, let me just say this. With them doing all these reboots or remakes for television or film, number one, you got to get good writers. That's number one. You know, Because if you don't have good writers, the, the shit is going to suck. So I would think that Amazon will take their time and say, okay, let's recruit the best writers to bring these franchises to breathe life back into them. Not saying that they needed life, but if we're going to go this route and bring them back, we got to make sure that the writing is on point. Because we've been seeing that a lot with some of these shows on uh, streaming networks and some of these films that they've been doing reboots and remakes on that the story has been terrible because the, the story has been terrible because the writing sucks. So we'll just have to see about that. Now, they were saying about the whole Adonis Creed Rocky franchise thing that they wanted to uh, do with Michael B. Jordan. And my thoughts on that is that I don't think that they should be going that far with the Creed franchise because. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the Creed franchise, but I just think that you want to you stretch it out too much to the point where people get tired of it, and then uh, it starts to get watered down, and you start to lose interest. Now they did three Creeds already, and I know that when they did an interview with Michael B. Jordan, was on the red carpet. He was talking about spinoffs and things. So, if you're gonna do a spinoff, who are you gonna do a spinoff about? Now, I think that a good spinoff would be about Damien's character. And then if you saw the Creed films about his daughter, you know, how she was in love with boxing. And I'm taking that she wants to be a boxer, too. That would be cool. But once again, it's all about how you're going to put it together. And how is it going to pan out? So we'll just have to see about these things. I mean, it sounds exciting that they want to do this. And it's definitely got my attention and my curiosity about how it's going to be done, which direction they're going to go with this. So we all just have to sit back and see how this is going to pan out. You know, but I think that Amazon being a company that they are, that they're not just going to just throw some shit together and put it out there. So that's why I said that it will be nice is that some of these people who they know that was a part of these projects for being famous like Ice Cube and Reese Witherspoon. You know, since they already uh, talked to Michael B. Jordan, that they will reach out to 
reach out to them as well to say, hey, let's make this work. And then they were talking about um, Fame uh, being a TV series. Now, with the show with Fame, I can see that happening because Fame was a, a successful TV series before, you know, back in the day. So I can see them making that into a good TV series. I can see that working out. And I would say it'll really go far too if they were if they're gonna reach out to Debbie Allen and say, hey, can you step in and help us make this work? Because we already know Debbie Allen and Fame is like peanut butter and jelly. That's gonna go together. So reaching out to Debbie Allen and getting her to be a part of it, especially making it a modern version of fame, because you have a lot of new dancers, a lot of new dance steps, this new generation. I think that will be a hit. You know, I think that that would definitely be a hit. So it's got my vote for that. Uh, the Pink Panther, we already know about the Pink Panther. So, eh, poker guys. We'll just have to see about poker, poker guys, because poker guys is one of those films that, like I said, it was a classic film. I loved it. The first one, the other ones was kind of like, eh. So if they do go this route, it would just be curious to see how they're going to go with this and what's going to happen. So we'll just see. But overall, as I said, I think this is a great idea what they're doing. Just curious to see which direction they're going to go with this. So you all let me know how y'all feel about this, about Amazon uh, taking some of the MGM titles that they own and bringing them back and rebooting them for film or television projects. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. And until then, stay tuned.